the local favourite for Australia, the Commonwealth Games champion from 2022, Ollie Hoare. And he gets the biggest cheer. A few unsteady steps there at the start, but we are off and racing here for the mixed four by 2,000 metre cross country championships. And looks like the Spaniard getting straight to the front there. Oliver Hoare, who's come off a great year for Australia. They're quick, and I think choosing your faster athlete to get out and get a good start, because some parts of this course are quite narrow. So you'd be wanting to try and um, get that single file happening so that it's less congested, there's less, less rough stuff as you start to pass the, the wristband around to your teammate. It does look like they're starting to spread this field out. The two athletes are front. You, you would think that the Kenyan athlete being so fast over 800, he would definitely be wanting to spread this out so that it doesn't come to that sprint finish because he's not quite sure of what his strength is at the back end of a race like this on a course like this. He hasn't run too many cross country races. Here's the Ethiopian and he has fallen back into that fourth position. They would have liked to be closer up to the front there. He is trying to close that gap. You can see the wristbands change. This is the changeover zone. So the longer leg first. So this is South Africans taking the battle. That's Prudence Segadiso. Well, the South African Prudence Segadiso, 20th in Aarhus in the under 20 race. So she, we know she can go over the distance along with the six kilometers. She's a 158 hundred yep. meter runner. She's got the speed, she's got the endurance. Yep. So it should hopefully meet in the middle, but it's all about can they prepare and can they handle this heat out here? But Jess Hull, she's gotten up into second place now for the Australians. So it's Kenya first, Australia in second, then it's South Africa. And Ethiopia, you might just see the Ethiopian Vera just pop up there. And you can see just how steep this section is going up through the woodland area. And they'll work down to Mountain Straight where they shoot straight down into the hard burn. And look at Jess Hull basically skidding around that corner there. But there it is, Stu McSwain, the Australians pass the ribbon in first place. And he's off and racing the Kenyans. They do come out with Mbuti. And let's see just how he paces this. Is he going to try and get on the back of McSwain and, and work with him? Or is he going to try and get him later on in the race? Because now there's no team running. They're all by themselves. It looks like the Ethiopians getting at Wale. They're in third place now. They are. There's a, there's a race in two at the moment, but you can't rule out the Ethiopians on coming back because, as we saw then, no. Jess Hull was well back when she uh, got the, the ribbon, but she was able to really stay patient. And that's the thing on this course. There's a lot that can play out. So you've got to stay patient early and then just try and work through the field late. And with the talent that's to come with the Ethiopians, you can't just say that it's a safe race in, in two just yet. See that there's... The gap can be closed so quickly. Mm, Munguti's really gone hard, but... McSwain working very hard up the first part of this boomerang. So Munguti's closed that gap, and we'll see if he's gone out too hard. Well, there you go. It's a great shot there. You can see just how far back they are. Wale in third place now, just a few strides in front of Shit there. There's Brenda Chabet, very patiently waiting. Caldwell will take the baton for the Australians. And there's the lead. Brenda Chabet off and racing. Caldwell. We'll see who's in second place. McSwain did have that lead. That is McSwain off to Corwell. Oh, it's a big S ask S for the young Australian. Yeah, it's, it's a big ask. The young Australian's got the crowd behind her, Abby Caldwell. She is a bronze medalist from the Commonwealth Games, but she's just starting out in track and field at this international level, and she's got quality superstars behind her, so she's going to have to stay cool and, and run her own race. What beautiful technique we can see here. She's just really got that long stride. She's lovely off the ground. Like, you know, we can't emphasize enough just how tough underfoot this course is and how hard it is, but she's just making it look so wonderfully effortless. Goal for Abby now as a youngster will be just to hold in there. You're still in the medal position. Stay relaxed. You know that you've got quality athlete in front of you. Just try and tuck in and do as Real much as you can title. to hold on to that medal position. So Chabet working her way down the finishing chute, absolutely flying. What has Caldwell got left? Can she get up? Further on the podium, but Hallium way too strong. So Chabet, there's about 40 metres left to go. Kenya's going to take it. That's going to make it two gold medals in the mixed relay in 2017 and now 2023 for the Kenyans. Ethiopia take out the silver medal in the mixed relay. And Australia, they're on the board for the hometown team. They take the bronze medal. Let's get an opportunity, but there are your winners. Munguti, Cherop.
Chibet when Yoni. <laughs> Chibet still cooked. <laughs> she is still tired. She's like, I just finished. <laughs> Chibet <laughs> exhausted. Daniel, you were the star of the show. You moved your team from behind to in front and uh, it was a tremendous run. What were your feelings as you went? Did you know that you needed to produce the run of your life? Okay, let me first uh, thank our mighty for enabling us uh, being the victors for today. Uh, what I can say that uh, from the start, we end what we call uh, teamwork. So we cannot take uh, the victory as an individual strength, but uh, we worked uh, with uh, teamwork. So on my side, uh, that's take over three. I had to use a little bit strategy because uh, I was given the, the uh, three, being number two. So I had to use my own strategy so that uh, I can give the next person being number one. And that's what I did. So I can say that the race was a bit tactical and uh, without going for the victory. Yeah. And you loved the downhill. It was the downhill section where you went the fastest. Yeah, like I said, that uh, downhill uh, session was a bit challenging. Uh, but what I can say, we had prepared for it. So we were ready for it. And Brenda, you had the thrill of leading the team home across the finish line. Daniel gave you the big lead and you ha held on. Well done. Thank you. So first, we want to thank God for the strength, the strength that you have given us. And first, uh, tension was high, and uh, the course was tough, and uh, it needed some tactical. Yeah, but we have tried our, our best, and I thank our team. We had planned, and I'm very grateful. Thank you. Congratulations, Team Kenya. Well done. World champions.